All right, lads. Welcome back to another episode of the Shy Talk Podcast. It's been uh, it's been too, it's, it's probably been too long now. It's been too long. How long has it been? Let me just check. I swear quick. we said in the last one as well. It's going to be a bit more consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't think we can even promise that anymore at this point. No, I think I think we are. <laughs> I think I think the Shy Talk Podcast now is at a point where um, you get it when we're ready to give you it. You get it whenever you know yeah. the, the uploads. It's like a true Lily White upload. It is. It is. Which, it's, we did get a true Lily White. You did actually. We did get it um, since the last episode. Yeah, we did. Jesus Christ, I've actually forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that. Um, oh, we God, did. Lad, it's been three months. Oh, sh- oh that's probably fuck. our biggest break ever. To be that probably is. To be fair though, there's been a lot going on, which we will get into. We well, will, first yeah, of all, this true Lily White upload. Where did it come from? Because I was out for a run <laughs> on the bog, and I just see, I just get a notification. The true Lily White upload. I was like, has he done that by accident? I, know, like, I, I loaded something from my camera by accident like. he, he just accidentally remembered his, his login details <laughs> um, so yeah it was kind of very random um, so I obviously the video I uploaded was Outlast it was Outlast 2 I have another three episodes of Outlast recorded yeah. like just raw footage with a bit of audio over it okay. um, and I, I basically it was such a fucking effort to get it going because I had to Record on the PlayStation Five. You have to upload it to my my personal YouTube account, not my actual YouTube account. Oh, all right. Uh, because I don't want to just upload raw footage. Yeah. I, did, I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know you could just private video it before you uploaded it. Yeah. So I uploaded it to my YouTube, and then I had to like download it from my YouTube, edit it then, and it was just it was a it was a long awkward task. But anyway, we got it done. Yeah. Um, I used Lightworks. Lightworks actually it actually worked. They came through a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it worked, and um, it was all right. It wasn't too bad. Um, but the yeah the the other episode I have recorded I'm I'm hoping to get I've been very busy uh, with other things in life which is the typical excuse for the truly like at this point <laughs> yeah life is just happening <laughs> life is happening but uh, yeah so I'm hoping I will get another one uploaded but again when that is it'll just be a random time it'll be just a treat Probably. one day can we expect it before Christmas <laughs> I think I think it's a likely it's a likely goal <laughs> it's not it's also likely that that won't happen. <laughs> It's a very 50-50 kind of job. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I'll say... Actually, no. Yeah, no. We'll, we'll go... We'll aim for an episode before Christmas. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Oh I remember God. when I first started... Like, when I started YouTube, obviously, I was editing every, recording and edit, editing everything on the phone. Yeah. Right? And then when I made the jump, it was kind of when I got the GoPro, which was, like, the first kind of, you know, camera that I got, like, an actual camera. Yeah. And uh, the, the first time I tried editing on the laptop, I was like, Grieve actually uses light work, so I'll give that a go. Uh, it's awful. What well, fuck it's, it's terrible. <laughs> it just is bad. It's, it's so bad. Uh, the Shy Talk podcast can't expect a brand deal from Lightworks coming. Yeah, in I don't think soon. I don't think Lily White would expect one either. Um, <laughs> Lily White is still struggling, yeah. <laughs> so to speak. So life getting in the way. What has been the story of the true Lily White in the last three months? Um, nothing major. We've obviously seen each other in the last three months. Oh yeah, it's, this isn't the only time we meet. <laughs> yeah. It's just like well, this is the podcast. first time we've actually. Yeah. <laughs> Um, not a major's happened, um, other than my injury, which um, yes, we were just talking about that inside. Actually, Do you want to explain to the people why yeah. you are wearing? Uh, so yeah, so he could have died basically. I could have died, and it, it is a fact that like so. Basically, what happened was um, I was walking through um, our our spot, our our town, and um, <laughs> basically, what happened was um, a group of large individuals were trying to steal. This older woman's handbag. Right. So I was like, you know, I, I can't let this happen. Not in my, not in my town. No, not in my town. Uh, so what I did was I ran over there. Um, you know, started defending for the woman. You know, a couple of fly kicks, um, headlocks, takedown. Actually, very good takedown on one of them. Um, managed to subdue all all the men, the large men. How many of them? Uh, there was about six. Uh, so it was it was a lot. It was like a lot for me there. Like, but I don't yeah. want to brag. Some of them were a bit shit. Like they they, they hadn't been training like I had been training. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So anyway, so obviously knocked them out and went over to the old woman and says, "You're all right. You know, you have everything, do you?" Yeah. So she had the purse. Said, "Yeah, everything's still in the purse." Uh, and that's when I proceeded to drop kick the woman and take her purse and head home. Uh, and it was only after I was running away that I got actually run over by a car and basically sprained ligaments in my thumb. So that's what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love, when that story was starting, you were like. So I was just walking down the road. I was like, "This isn't how the story starts inside." <laughs> it's very different to the one you said inside. <laughs> uh, no, on a serious note, I was just playing football. I I went to block a shot, um, and basically the ball. When instead of the ball hitting my hand, it hit my thumb, and it just went. Yeah. And I, I basically, 
I've done ligaments in my hand and my thumb. Uh, so we hope it's not too serious. Um, but Grievatch's uh, goalkeeping days are, are over. For numbered. This. They are no, they are numbered. Uh, which is, it's a sad because um, I don't want to say there was a, a, a good performance recently in between the sticks, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Although now that I am thinking about it, I did let a really two really bad goals in, in the latest recreation. Yeah, I, think, I think Danny was definitely the worst culprit for bad goalkeeping. Well, well, I will say we have recorded an episode on the brand new pitch, by the way. Oh. Um, uh, during the weekend and Dad was in goal and he took up the mantle beautifully he threw in a few can we, shots can know. we just appreciate that he is one of like he is the best he's one of the best goalkeepers we've had in the channel he he probably is the best the saves uh, he was the other he, I've seen him in goals for you before in a video and some of the saves he's making is it's a leap. The problem is he actually throws himself around unlike us he just kind <laughs> of, if a ball is going in the corner we're like fuck that yeah we're, we're, not. we're not it doesn't matter that much it's not going in uh, well, it is going in more than likely, but um, yeah. So, how you, how long do you you said you have a scan on on Saturday? Is that right? Yeah, so I've scanned Saturday, uh, and that's basically determining whether it's. I think what you said was if there's still like ligaments and tendons attaching it, and whether it needs to be like just conservatively managed, like physio and rehab, or if it actually needs to be surgery and then physio rehab. So, okay. I think it's like I can't remember what they said, but I think it's like four to six weeks. Right. So it's 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 not a it's not a majorly long one, but it's not like a it's kind of a middle one. Okay. Um, it's very annoying because obviously I'm on placement now, so yeah. I I can't use that hand. Yeah, it's, it's just become ten times harder. It's than honestly, yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> now. Like, um, and even like little things like grabbing. This sounds like a real pity me kind of shit, but I don't. Honestly, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Get the violins out. Um. <laughs> No, I literally, like, just things like picking shit up is bad, and, like, I think I tried catching it, like, just stupidly. I think the, 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 there was that game there, and I tried, like, someone just kick pass or fist pass the ball to me, and I went to catch it with two hands like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus. And it just just went, oh. and just rolled down, and it was like, yeah, that, that was fucking Let's sore. Let me not do that again. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, Grey Latch is out for a while, let's put it that way. But I, will, I, can, I can play football with my feet. Okay. Okay. My legs. My legs still work, although you wouldn't think so. <laughs> you wouldn't think so looking back on the well, history. Well, you know, you know, we will have a lot of football videos coming up. As I said, we did record the first episode on the new pitch. Um, R.I.P. to Tannersfield, by the way. Tannersfield. It's, it's been... We said, I think we said this before, but Tannersfield has been a very good servant. It has. And, you know, we take the piss and our subscribers take the piss. Mm. Um, you know, every time I put up a clip of us playing football on Tannersfield, it's always like... State the pitch, state it at. There's a couple um, of sheep. Remember, I did third time lucky, the charity thing, and all this, the chat was just like, this pitch is. Like, what one comment literally said, this pitch is making me feel pain. <laughs> oh, God. Just oh, the, God. And a bit harsh, you know, if you ask me. But, I'd uh, argue that there are some pitches, um, like Sunday League. The thing about Ireland is, like, Sunday League isn't really. It's not that it's not prominent, but it's not like. It wouldn't be a main. There's not much funding. Yeah, yeah. There's whatever. not as yeah. much like funding for pitches. Like, you go over to England, where obviously there's there's like a load of pitches, but like there are some pitches in England that are worse than Tannersfield, and that's a fact because I've seen them. Yeah, I have seen them. Yeah, absolutely. I won't I won't name drop. Yeah, but I have seen awful, awful pitches. Yeah, and you know, I think when we recorded the last recreations episode in there at the time, we didn't actually realize we were recording the last recreation. And that's probably the saddest thing. Yeah, we didn't actually even know that was. And it was only a couple of weeks later when Dad was like, "Oh, the new pitch will probably be opened up in in August." I was like, "Oh shit! (laughs) Oh shit!" And like, you know, we laugh, we take the piss, but it has been a great servant to the channel. I think. Do we do we have a tribute? I think on the next recreations episode. So I've recorded August recreations. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be like. Small little tribute at the beginning. Tribute, for, yeah, for, yeah. For here's a here's an idea for you. Mm. You could do there's a video for you. You could do comparing challenges on the new pitch versus the old pitch. Oh, so basically recycling old video ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> that's genius. Um, but yeah, you could you. Uh, pff, I don't know. You could say like. How different is a is a new quality pitch? Yeah. Versus. Yeah. It's like Chris MD's new video. Isn't yes. It? Oh, that was so. Dude, yeah. that is such. Seen a, it yet. I haven't oh, seen I'm it gonna yet. watch it. It's so. I, I, it's I've seen so it, I've funny. I seen it was like half an hour long, and I was like, I need time to actually sit down and yeah. commit to this. Oh man, it's it's so good. Chris MD's videos recently. When Chris MD when Chris MD uploads, it's 
it's oh it's yeah, not even our slick it anymore like realistically lads you know it's Chris MD videos are like work of art they actually, they actually are. The, the, even other YouTubers have come out and said this. Like, so yeah. it's not. It's not even just us anymore. And you know, it's not. It's obviously he's got a huge team behind him now. You know, he's mm. got two or three editors. You know, he's got he's got an actual keeper. He does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's got cameramen and all that kind of stuff. So you know, he's got. He definitely has the best of the best. But you know, I think just his humor and the way he edits videos, and obviously, I'm sure he has a massive input on the videos. I've never had an editor, so I don't know how that kind of relationship yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. Is it just, I'm going to send you all this footage and you just send me back whatever you think or do I sit beside you while you do it? Um, but, yeah, his videos are fucking movies now these yeah, days. Like, they, they are, they're proper good. It was great good, to like, see him back at the Fortress as well, though. Yes, we, it had to be done. We, 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 be done. We, we, I think the fans were crying out for it. Maybe a, someday we will record another video in Tanner's Field just for like a one-time thing. Just a, a tribute. But for now, it's a thank you. And goodbye to Tanner's Field for now. Amen. Uh, another thing that's happened in your life is you can now drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I can drive now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Spikes going. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, so I, I, I fucking almost forgot about that. Yeah, so I, yeah, I passed the test. Um, I will say um, I almost, I, I was, I remember actually being doing my test. I remember I was doing I was doing okay like I knew everything was going fine, and then there was an incident where um, she wanted me to go my the, the examiner wanted me to go on some more which is fine I've done that before, um, but like do you know the slip roll where you you join yeah. the motorway yeah yeah so like I was kind of waiting to be not waiting to be let in but I was kind of I was like okay I have space to come in as I was coming out about to go out the car behind me started speeding up. And I was there, like, looking. I was like, please. Because I will fail if I fuck this up. Did like, you do it in your own car or in, like, the examiner's car? I did an examiner's car. car. Did examiner's and the car. reason... So that, do you know what? I reckon the, the fella driving my car went behind went, oh, this is fella doing his test. I'm going to be a prick here. Yeah. Oh, my... Oh my God. Actually, that's another thing, right? In When you're in a learner car, they're absolute wankers. Yeah. And I, I... I I don't know what it is, but I've had so many lessons. I've had so many times where... I had a bus almost push me along in a lesson <laughs> to the point where my instructor was like start the, like he, he, he's, he's like he sounded off he's like start the combo we brake check him because he has the brakes on that side as well so yeah, I was yeah. there looking at him like please don't brake check the bus <laughs> I don't want to get into a fight yeah, I'm sorry I'm sorry just I'm just with... trying to do my lessons <laughs> please <laughs> he's there absolutely brake checking the poor cunt behind me oh, but um yeah, no, so I passed the anyway, so that, that was all good. I remember being in the, the test centre and she was like going through it all and I was like, I don't really give a shit on what I almost did wrong, mate. Just sign the paper, yeah. give me it and I'm gone. Yeah. So, so yeah, Grievous, Grievous can drive and now it, I think it opens up a lot more potential for the for the content side of things yes. for ourselves. So yeah. p- potentially once we once we figure out what we're, what we're going to, what we need to do, yeah. we will push on yeah yeah absolutely well, congratulations <laughs> thank man. you very much boss congratulations uh, Flip, i'll flip I, it back to you then so what, what's been going on well I, I mean to keep it on the same page i uh recently did my theory test oh i failed the first time oh! <laughs> <laughs> i passed the second yes time. but uh i remember i for the theory test the first time i did the theory test i i fucked it bad because i was uh, like i did the theory test the first time when i was like 16 17 mm. and got the exact same I got 32 out of 40 and the last time the most recent time that I did it and failed I got 32 out of 40 and I, was oh. like, I literally man and I studied for it this time yeah. so I was like <laughs> I bond this because for anyone who doesn't know theory test is a little bollocks it is actually it it's is it's legitimately shite like it, it it asks you shit that realistically you don't need to know yeah and 100%. it's just a box ticking exercise similar to you when I got that paper and it said congratulations you passed your theory test but here's what you got wrong I was like fucking fuck yeah I don't want I was the same in college as well I was like I don't give a fuck about feedback <laughs> if I pass I pass exactly Um and yeah a lot of bollocks and it's often questions about like tractors and shit yeah, I'm never going to drive a tractor now. I'm never going to drive a tractor. I mean, I'm obviously going to encounter tractors. I live in the boglands of Longford. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a lot of bollocks. It, it is actually. It is pure shite. Like, I remember there's some questions on there, which I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you know when you read them and you're like, when the fuck? There's one question about, like, if you are, like, he has, like, a certain 
category of driver like a W or something like that yeah and it, I just like I don't know this and I don't think I'll ever need to know this so why the fuck do I care yeah Um. but yeah congratulations it's done now it's done that's it's, the main it's, thing it's, it's done and I'll never have to fucking look at it again Amen. but you know what it's it's fucking scummy yeah it, because they try and catch you out because the whole thing's <laughs> a fucking money laundering scheme yeah I'm yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like that was like here's a here's a fucking question that I come up right and it was like um when can a learner driver drive a car? And it was, the option A was uh, when accompanied by an experienced driver or mm-hmm. someone who has their full mm-hmm. license or has had their full license for two years yeah, or something yeah. along those lines. And I was like, that sounds like a reasonable answer. That's probably it. Bottom answer is the exact same sentence oh, no. with and when the vehicle is designed oh, to bring a passenger. Oh, no. What fucking vehicle <laughs> do you know that is not designed to carry a passenger? Am I going to be going driving around in one of those little one-seat yeah. minis or something? <laughs> the, the little smart car, but just one bollocks. door. Because if someone doesn't read through the whole question, they might see that first option and go, oh, that's it. I'll click that and move on. That's you get it wrong. That's definitely me. If I, I read, if I was doing that and I got that question, I would have seen that and gone, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And, you know, it sounds fucking obvious, but if you're doing your theory test, boys, read through your answers two or three times. Yeah. Because you're make... bound to have done something like that, yeah. where you've, sk- you've skipped on, you've gone, okay, that's the answer, obviously. And then they've just tried to catch you out with a couple of extra words thrown in there. But uh, it's done, and we can move on. I'm going to have to apply for my learner permit now. I have, but the thing is, it's a bit annoying, because obviously I have specs. Oh yes. So I have to go into Specsavers on Monday, spend twenty quid on like a form. an eye test or something, is it? No, they have to sign a form for you. Oh shit! Okay. And then you can scan that and you upload it. it with your it's application. such a fucking. Joke. It's all money making. It's actually so expensive. I think I don't know how much it is. Like we were trying to work this out the other day and we couldn't work it out. But the amount of money over pointless shit, like yeah, like I rang them yesterday. I rang Specsavers and I was like, I was like, yeah, I need to do this thing. How do I go about doing it? And they were like. I was like, I have a sample of the form here. Do I email it to you and you sign it and send it back to me? I mm. thought that was... And she was like, no, we're going to have to book you in for an appointment. Uh, on the, uh, uh, know, for, for, uh, it's 20 quid to, to get your bastard, thing. I was like, oh, that's bastard. Bother, bother. But, but the thing is, like, I remember I used to do that as well. So, like, I obviously don't wear glasses. I have never needed to wear glasses. My vision is, is relatively okay. Um, but they still they still want you to go for an eye test. Like I still had to get an eye test to Did confirm you, yeah. that like I don't Jeez. need glasses or I don't need like special contact lenses yeah. for when I'm driving. But it's bollocks like. I suppose that's less of a convenience for me than compared to you because you actually had to go in and do a full on eye test when you didn't yeah, need. Yeah, that was bollocks like. You know, I was like, you I, probably I, would have had to. You obviously would have had to pay for that as well. Yeah, I, I think around the same, maybe twenty yeah, something like that. Yeah. But um, look, it's, it's 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 to be honest. Once you start driving, I and mean, once you look to start it or whatever. It's all money from there on in with insurance, yeah. with with car repairs. You know, it, it's it's mental. But you now have that freedom. I do, and, and that, that uh, is that is sorted. That that is something that is gonna be massively uh, helpful to you moving mm. forward, and uh, hopefully, I can pass it first time. But I failed the theory test twice <laughs> before I actually passed. But it. to be fair, the theory test is different because the theory test, like you say, <laughs> it sounds straightforward. Yeah, but there is there's fucking curveballs in there like and yeah. it can't fuck you like that sort of thing you're on about is a curveball at least with a driving test it's like they can fail you on stupid shit as well ex- though exactly. hopefully I don't encounter any bullshittery like that but you know, I'm, not, I'm not gonna bullshittery I'm, I'm not gonna fucking you know bank on it to be honest yeah. but um, yeah what else is about I graduated as well oh yes yes I graduate <laughs> uh, yeah thank you very much thank you very much um, yeah it was a bit of a, it's, it's a bit of a nothing day the whole graduation thing unless mm. you actually have a plan to go out but most people were just like going for meals with their families and yeah, stuff yeah. like that so I was like fuck it we'll do the same and that was that was pretty much it like you always have that fear though it's like am I going to be the guy that just falls over or something <laughs> at <know> graduation <laughs> I am dreading my graduation <laughs> yeah. you know exactly why don't you they read out everyone's names oh yeah <laughs> and it's pure silent lads and next <laughs> thing they're going to be like Jack great great <laughs> Like it, I, I had someone I had to go to the hospital obviously for the hand right and the one your one calls out your name and I was thinking like look for fuck's sake just call out Jack yeah and then I'll come up and yeah, I'll, I'll have so just say I'll Jack have a G week. yeah or Jack G if you can't say my I take no offence because my name is a complete clusterfuck of a name yeah right I take no offence if someone just said to me Jack G or anything like that I don't mind that God bless this one she tried to say and Lord of mercy Lord of mercy I almost didn't want to get up oh it was like so she went Jack 
Grizzly Wah Zuck or something like that. I'm not joking. Like pure German, like you know, <laughs> like that kind of shy. Like I don't know what that was. <laughs> but like, do you know what I mean? Like it was just pure utter butchery. Yeah. And I got, I kind of just walked my head down, and she goes, "Are you Jack?" Gr-? Yes. Yep, yeah, I am. And she goes, "Can I? You just is that your name? Yeah, that's my name. I know what is my name because yeah. you made shit of it, you prick, yeah. in front of a whole fucking waiting room of people oh who are wondering who the fuck has a name like that. <laughs> no one surely has a name like that. Me walking up then, big fucking oh, no. dopey head of me. Oh, um, yeah, that's exactly what it's gonna be. Yeah, so that I'm, I'm almost like I remember <laughs> when we were playing a, a county final. I actually contacted the club and contacted the person who's commenting the game yeah. with phonetically how to say my name. So I just wrote, look, to say my name, it's just G-R-E-E and then wax. Yeah. Gree wax. Or just say gree wax. Just yeah. don't say anything else. And then come the fucking, we have the footage, I have the footage on it. Yeah. And he just butchered it. But he was like, I doesn't probably care. He's, he's going home with a cup. He doesn't care. I say it how I want. He doesn't get, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> So yeah, but anyway, yeah. So congratulations, mate. Obviously, so it Thank was. You. Thank you. Yeah, it's. I mean, look, I, I had a tough first year in college because mm. I did Irish, and it was. <laughs> yeah, it was I remember this. I remember this. Um, but then, like from then on, it was actually alright because I was obviously doing something that I had far more of an interest in. Yeah. Uh, final year actually wasn't as half as tough as I thought it was going to be. Really? Yeah. Oh, like, and, like I know I have a mate that's going into final year media studies now because he was off doing an Erasmus in Spain. Mm. David actually I was on the podcast no way yeah he's going nice. into his final year because he was off in an Erasmus um, and he was like asked me what modules are like the best ones to take and I told him listen just do whatever I did because it was fucking handy <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, just copy me there's the three options there's like a digital project which is like Photoshop or something like that yeah yeah there's the short film and then there's a 10,000 word dissertation 10, those, those, those are the three words. those are the three options fuck I was like well obviously, obviously I'm going to do the short film yeah <laughs> and I said to David I was like listen I don't even care if you've no interest in film at all, don't do the dissertation. Yeah. Cause Surely. Because Paul, Paul that did the video would also come out that day. He did the dissertation and he said it was the worst thing he ever did. <laughs> oh my God. So. 10,000 words. Like, man, that's in, that is horrible. 10,000 words. Yeah, I don't even think. I heard someone say that. I heard someone at the graduation did say that they did it in like six days. <laughs> oh, fuck me, boys. Man, it must, I mean, they clearly fucking passed. So like. But like. I never understand, right? So for the dissertation, like you're doing that alongside your modules. Yeah. So that is awful, then, because yeah. you're if you're if you're trying to study for your module. Yeah. You have, you gonna have to do work on top of that work as well. Yeah. That Whereas, is. Whereas, like for the short film, we had a fella writing the script. Like the fella, in, one of the fellas in our group, he wrote the script. Mm. One fellow was in charge of uh, bringing in actors. Um. Then on the day, I kind of helped with cameras and stuff, and then I edited the whole thing on Filmora. <laughs> And like they were like, oh, but you have to come in and edit it on the Macs, like on the computers. And I was like, to do I though? They're not going to be able to verify that though, are they? <laughs> yeah. And sure enough, they weren't. So I edited there the you whole go. thing on my laptop. But that's that's shit though, because if you have your own editing software, right? There's no reason, re- or you you might be able to say it, but like, there surely is no different to what you do on Filmora. But it's actually it's actually harder on the editing software on, in, in college exactly. so why, why the fuck would you bother complicate exactly. <laughs> it's so uh, stupid it's so much more complicated than Filmora is so I was like listen lads I'll do it on this we'll just tell her that we did it on the max yeah and then will be fine and we got 71% know. in our short film Woo! so god damn fucking happy days there god damn but uh, you can tell it was edited by Aaron Kelly by the, the, <laughs> by the, the music that was used yeah in it, like, the, the, the little edits in there there's like, there's <laughs> like the little bits of music that you hear in like in videos and stuff <laughs> and like they were, they were they made their way into the film they had to they had but, to uh, we did a, a screening of it then on the the last day of college yeah yeah so we did a screening of all the films in front of the whole class oh and uh I was a little bit nervous I won't lie yeah yeah uh, and at one point the sound just like cut out oh I was like Fuck. I turned to Anik, I was like, what the fuck's going on? Where's the fucking sound gone? And he was like, I don't know. I was like, the sound was definitely on it when I fucking sent it to him. Where is it now? And uh, it came back. It was only for like two or three seconds, but it was the longest two or three oh, seconds of my bro. life, man. I was like, why is this? sound The grave was hanging in the balance <laughs> at that moment. Like. Oh, God. And we did like a, we had to do like a, a shorter version of it uh, around Christmas time. Mm. It was like a teaser for a twist in the tail exercise. And it was only like a third of the fucking length. And uh, I wasn't in that day that they were doing the screening for that. It was only two of the four in our group actually went in that day. And apparently oh, she absolutely tore that one apart. Really? She absolutely... I was acting in that oh, one as well. Fuck. I was acting... 
Oh, <laughs> oh no. Tore it apart. To be fair, there's one part where like there's like a murder and a fella throws a fella. I throw Anik into the boot of the car. And it, he had his drone just like flying above the car. And it didn't look like I threw him in at all. Literally. He was just there and just like climbed into the <laughs> boot of the car. <laughs> this dead body's just like, nah, mate, I'll do it myself. Like, I'll just oh climb in. Don't worry about God. it. But, <laughs> That's uh, Yeah, no, we got through that. That was good. And, uh, you know, on to, I have a job now until... Uh, we will, I mean, you know the job very, very well. <laughs> um, Come on! But, you know, we're going to be there for a while and see how that goes. And then, uh, you know, keep doing a bit of freelance and stuff. And it gives me time to do my YouTube on the side still as well. So it's, so it's a perfect setup, really. That is good. Cool. I'm going to restart this camera. There. Well, the main camera's recorded now. It's charging now, so we can do quarry after this. Lovely! I'm excited to do quarry, actually, because I can't... I, how long has it been since... I don't... I can't even remember what happened last time in quarry. It's, it's been like a month since I've recorded an episode. Is it? Okay, I, I, but we, we, it became it be... Love Island. Oh, yes. Yeah, this, is, this is really probably the perfect time to bring me in. Every, yeah, everyone started busy getting with each other. I, I won't lie, if uh, you've seen my Quarry series so far, it feels like a bit more of a slow burn compared to Until Dawn. Until yeah. Dawn, it was like action after like chapter two. It was just, it yeah. just went crazy. It was actually like, they went to a lodge. Yeah. And then your one got dragged to the fucking door. Yeah, <laughs> like, like literally episode three. Like, we're on chapter... I think I've recorded four chapters. Jesus. And nothing has really happened yet, scary-wise, in the quarry, so... Maybe, though, Aaron, it's because you've played a blinder. Maybe something scary was meant to happen, but you've actually... Well, I mean, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I remember, like, the first episode when I was, like, the, the two people in, like, the forest, and you're... Oh, <laughs> I failed, fuck. I failed the QTE, and your one <laughs> you're whacked, her head. Oh, she God. whacked her head off the fucking... Bro. Oh, man. That was actually one of the funniest moments, though, because, like, you knew what you did as well. It wasn't even like, you was like, what the fuck's happening? He's like, oh, fucked it! Oh, fucked it! <laughs> I was panicking, mate. The oh, QTE, so I thought... See, I thought I had to press circle, but it was the analog stick. That was dirty of them, though. But it was. It looked like circle. That was dirty. That's what I mean. That was dirty of them. Like, they didn't... There should be... It should be red circle. Like, you know, <laughs> A black analog stick. It's like, like, come on. I failed all the QTEs up until that point because I was just pressing circle. <laughs> Why is it not working? Oh, God. But anyway, yeah, so coming soon, uh, the boys play the quarry. Um, that should be interesting. But, um, you know, in terms of other news, I also commented on a League of Art, no, an FAI Cup quarter final game between Maynooth University Town oh, yes. and Treaty United. We did say in the last episode we were talking about me commentating and I was like, I'd love to do the main commentary. Yeah. And, now, and lo and behold, Kelly are, has you know, done the main commentary. And it was funny because like one of the my mates on the, the Longford Town media team sent me a message and was like, look, there's this gig going on in Maynooth. Do you want to do it? And I was like, yeah, grand. Bit of cash in the pocket, in the pocket as well, you know? In the pocket. Well, pa- cash in the packet. Wallet. <laughs> the pocket. Fuck that. Um, but yeah, it, that was a good experience before. Like, it, we got sent... I got sent like a list of like the Manute team and like a little spiel on each of them oh, I remember you telling me this yeah 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 so I was like that's great um, but I had to do all my research on treaty myself and like usually on a match day you get given uh, like a like a match like team sheets yeah, yeah. no team sheets to be found oh god no team sheets <laughs> oh no so you know I was kind of for the first half I was kind of guessing I got most of them right mm. I think I got all of them right to be fair because I, I wouldn't say his name unless I was absolutely sure only the fact that I went onto Wikipedia the night before copy and pasted the whole treaty squad and their squad numbers <laughs> but I didn't have the minute squad numbers so you were fucked basically so for I minute. knew two just, fellas were you you weren't commenting for a specific team you were covering just the whole I game. was covering LOI TV so okay, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, I was told they'll get me back for a couple more games so that'd be nice 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 um, but yeah it was just it was very much guesswork with the minute team uh, at least with the treaty team, I had the the squad numbers there, and then when subs started coming on the second half, the whole thing was Because at half time, I was like, right, because I, th- I was kind of piecing it together, like mm. the menu team as the as the half was going on. So I was like, right, I have number eight there, I have number ten, I have number six, and then like by half time, I was like, right, I'm gonna have to just fucking guess here. <laughs> oh no! And then the subs are coming on, oh, no. and I had the, the fellow beside me that was going Colcoms was like the Manute representative. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, and coming on from Manute University Town now is. And I hit another <laughs> one. He'd be like, and this is uh, such and such. And I was like, ah, he's coming on. Yeah. yeah. He just but, takes uh, over the mic. He's like, yeah, this is uh, himself. Yeah, but like, you would think that going into something like that, I'd be absolutely shitting myself. <laughs> Cause yeah, because like, it's kind of. I suppose if we're not given like a team sheet like of the other team, you would. Like, yeah. I know I. I Especially like it. it was my first time doing main comms. It wasn't in Longford. It was away. It was actually it wasn't in Manute. It was in John Highland Park, which is in like between Lucan and somewhere else. Like, mm. It was in Dublin, like. So, yeah, I had to go up in that evening. We were literally just on a piece of scaffolding as like the commentary box. <laughs> I've seen that? Yeah, the picture. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it was a bit sketchy, but yeah, yeah. Like if you sneeze, the whole the thing whole. Oh god. Um, but 
Yeah, you'd think I'd be shitting myself, but I really wasn't. I That's really good wasn't. Though. It was like it, it nearly just felt like so natural because like I've been doing it on YouTube now for five years. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, like I know I've not done anything really live. I've done the bit of stuff with Longford Town, like the call comms. Third time lucky as well, kind of. Well, actually, no, I wasn't to an even extent. Live. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. An, it's a collaborative yeah, piece, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, but um, yeah, no, it was good crack. And uh, LOI TV, please do bring me back for more. Yeah, we we want to see Kelly back on comms. Imagine us two on comms. I think I'd have to go through a sense of I'd have to have like a a five minute period before. Just to just get it, just to, no, just to get all the swearing and all the yeah, because I'd be there like there's a goal. Just oh, fuck. Out, holy shit, he's absolutely leveled it. Oh my, sorry, so yeah. fuck. And that was just, one thing I was afraid of when I first started commentating for Long for Town was that oh shit, I'm gonna start swearing. Mm. like sometimes I remember one time back in school, uh, teacher, we're we're good mates, but now Tom Dennigan. Oh, yes, shout out, shout out. Um, I went into his class, I think we were in like third year or something. And I was sent in, we had science, I was sent in to look for a speaker. Hmm. And I was like, oh, sorry, Mr. Dernigan, you haven't got a, a fucking speaker, have you? <laughs> and it just slipped <laughs> out, man. It slipped in out. Front of Tom. Oh, no. And to be, fair, to, to be fair to Tom, he didn't say anything. Oh, but he definitely gave you a look or definitely, something. He definitely, definitely he had to. He definitely knew. But it was kind of under me, but I was like, you haven't got a fucking, fucking, fucking speaker. It was definitely that you did not want to do that job. And yeah, you were no, sent. I, I was quite a nervous lad back in the day as well. So it was like, fucking oh, speaker. <laughs> Oh, and that's what I was afraid of the shit like if I was nervous I'd just start swearing <laughs> like, oh man that's gas you're, you're fucking getting a, like say a shot or something like that you're sticking fuck yeah. <laughs> just having me roaring like you're fucking nervous yeah 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 gas but it's so funny but uh, yeah in other news we've been um, we've been banging the keeping going with the YouTube and the TikTok and, mm. and all that kind of stuff I've got a couple of amusing. I did have a, a comment actually that I wanted to bring up on the podcast. Oh, this should be good. Uh, this would be good during the week. Um, let me see if I can find it now. So basically, the video was I was talking about all the VAR decisions from the weekend. Oh um, yes, I had a bit of a controversial to a point opinion about the the Martin the Arsenal goal that was ruled out. Yeah, so this um, this would be good. So I was like, I was like, I thought it was very soft, and yeah. I didn't think. It was a foul. I thought. I thought Eriksen went down very easily, which is an opinion. Yeah, you know? yeah, I, I, and I back that. My opinion. I'll give you my opinion from United yeah, fan. I, yeah, okay, go on. I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> don't give a fuck. I man. don't give a fuck. Um, no, to be fair, like I think the problem is like it's um, like I suppose the issue is like it is soft. Like yeah. any player when you go into the back of them, not through them, just like you, you're in the back of them, they're going to go down. Like it, yeah. it's, it's nine times out of ten they're going to go down. Yeah. Um, I suppose the only problem with it is is that I don't think he got the ball. Now, yeah. I'm not saying that that, yeah. that instantly gratifies it. Oh, it's a, pen, it's a stonewall free. Yeah. Should have been ruled out. I'm not saying that a lot. I am saying that I can see where the ref has come from, mm. but I definitely agree with Arsenal fans said if that was flipped round, yeah, you'd be living. I'd be fucking fuming. And yeah. if that was a goal, like they were on top of that point. Especially as well. when the point that I made was in the verdict, which is which wasn't in this TikTok clip. Mm. So that probably could have been kept in, but I wanted it to be as short as possible. <laughs> but in the verdict I said that this season the Premier League have said that the the margin for contact is like been expanded, I suppose, to a sense, so that, mm. you know, it's kind of encouraging more physical play. Yeah. So it taking that into account I don't think there was enough there from Odegaard on Ericsson for it to be a foul. I said the same thing about Jared Bowen yeah. on Mendy. So, like, it's not me just like, oh, I, oh, I hate you, not you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I said, I said Chelsea were poxed to get the win against yeah. West Ham the weekend. They, that goal from Maxwell Corner should have absolutely stood. Mm. But anyway, this comment is from a fellow called Aaron as well. Oh. And uh, his profile picture is him flexing in a mirror. Uh, so, it's, you know, it's kind of. You know, shout out Aaron let's you know the kind of person we're looking at here uh, he's got uh, five laughing emojis that's how that, you know that's, that's how you know he's, oh. <laughs> oh. oh 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 Okay. <laughs> nice. That's how you know he's proper. He's proper. Oh God! Look at the state of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be so horrible. That's gonna be horrible, isn't it? Uh, that's how you know he's proper. Rat. He's got five laughing emojis. Can I, I can actually actually look at his profile picture. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Um, Ooh. What is that a jersey he's wearing as well? It looks like some form of jersey, all right. No, I'm not. I couldn't tell you. Probably a GA decent. jersey. Probably a GA decent, jersey. decent, 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 decent. Decent lad. Anyway, each, each to their own. If you want to take pickies in front of a mirror, go ahead. But anyway, Ericsson was fouled. You are blind. You're as bad as the referees. Oh. And uh, fellow responded to him saying it's called an opinion, mate. 
Oh! It it's not, no, that wasn't even me! I was like, I'm not gonna give this guy the time of day. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this fella, obviously a fan. So oh, yeah, yeah. It's called an opinion, mate. You can't have an opinion on a foul. A foul is a foul. What do you mean? Oh, how how you how absolutely can <laughs> if it's a fucking stone waller if it's a, if you've come in from behind and uh, two foul them yeah, yeah then that's not an opinion that's a foul this one can definitely divide opinion and has mm. and absolutely has divided opinion I don't understand that logic where you say you can't have an opinion because it's a foul it's a foul it's a foul it's a well I understand it if it was an absolute stone waller if he's come in and RKO'd him or something like yeah. that then fair enough but, but then reality is those. Fuck all contact on Eric. I'd actually like to hear his thoughts then on challenges on Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. Because their argument is there. And there I didn't actually see these clips because I, I wasn't actually watching the full game. Yeah. But fuck me, there is and some... He was getting manhandled. Oh, there is like... Liza, Martinez definitely was at him a few times. Yeah. There was another one. Was it McTominay as well at one point? Yeah. Probably McTominay. That's always Good McTominay. Good chance it was McClapped. <laughs> McClapped. I watched this fellow on TikTok. He's from, he's from Limerick. I think his name is Adam... <laughs> What's his name? Adam something. He's, United, he's a United fan from Limerick, and he just calls him McClapp. It's so funny. He's like, he's like Matt Raiden's from Man United against Real Sociedad. McClapp, <laughs> minus fifty thousand. <laughs> is he? So is funny. he got the like, kind of long hair? And he, he always... no, he's got like a buzz cut now. Oh, fair. Um, I think his name's Adam Quinn or something. I, I could wouldn't know. I wouldn't know off the top of my head. But um, I'd actually like to hear his opinion on that uh, yeah. because there's definitely if that if he's saying that's a foul. The Martinez one is a yellow card yeah. foul yeah. all day, every yeah. day. We also have one from Ollie here who says, uh, you have to look at the Bowen, from, the Bowen one from all angles. His foot scrapes Mendy's back and he jumps over him. So he says he scrapes Mendy's back. Ollie's obviously a Chelsea fan. Ollie, in case it wasn't obvious by the Fernando Torres jersey in the background of that clip, uh, <laughs> I'm also a Chelsea fan. And I say we were fucking very lucky to, to not concede that Maxwell Corny goal. I think there's actually... It's not even like Bowen has... I said it in the verdict, but I'll say it again. It's not even as if Bowen has fully driven his boot into Mendy yeah, yeah, or yeah. has clearly stamped on him or anything. It's like his foot... Say this is Mendy's body. It's like he's gone... <laughs> he's glided. He's glided over him. Mendy has been utterly shit this season. I will back that. And A not, lot I mean, of people tipped him as well. That, to that wasn't necessarily his fault. Reese James played a horrible back pass to him. Mm. But... Um, you know, we can get into Chelsea in a minute if you want to. But, yep. I mean, this fella got an awful lot of responses from people saying, watch them all angles, Mendy slit in. Uh, it's not a foul. Uh, all that kind of bollocks. It, it fucking was not a foul, no, I hope. Oh, did you see this? Did you see this one? Oh, I did actually see this one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this That's actually a banging clip. But I, it, it, it literally, what it made me do is, it made me go back and watch that moment. Just because it's such a fucking... Man. I will say, though, the point where you freeze it, it's perfect. My, my face yeah. <laughs> Mid RKO as well. I don't know you can just kind of see it from me. Like, there's something about to happen. Yeah, you're like preparing it. But, uh, you know, t t honestly, uh, I I've seen a lot more. I think I said this in the last episode. I've seen a lot more success from TikTok this year than I've ever seen. I've been a lot more consistent with it. And mm. it's actually converting into YouTube subscribers. Which is, which is actually cool. Like, you know, it's good is, to see. Which is very, very good. But uh, you always get twats like that. That'll always have yeah. shit. I think it's actually funny more than anything at this point. Not because like it's funny to laugh at them, but it's funny then to sit back, you a creator, yeah. and watch people argue in your comment section. It's you usually just sit back yeah. and just let yeah. that happen. Like because like if someone posts an opinion on my uh, in my comment section, I'm fine. I can listen to an opinion. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, if you're willing to have an intelligent conversation about it, I'll respond to you and have an intelligent conversation. But if you're willing, if you're just being a twat for the sake of being a twat, <laughs> I'm there's, not gonna give. I'm not gonna give you the time. There's to no interaction. Like, like I you... don't. I don't get rattled by. Hate comments. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. Which had. is which is good. Yeah, I don't think I've like I just laugh at them more than anything. Whereas Danny, right? <laughs> oh my if, god, if, that's if so you, funny. If you were hating on Danny in his comments, he would respond to every. Danny actually does respond in comments in, your, in, in your, my comment yeah. section. <laughs> I had a FIFA. Can we? Can we? I, just I had a one to one hundred. Yeah. FIFA best FIFA song. I I rate Danny so much for the defense he put on. It Literally, was brilliant. Fellas be like, oh, I put this on there, and Danny got incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> incorrect. Like he just feels the need to. But it's just the. It's just incorrect. Like there's no. <laughs> there's no context. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, oh you love to see it. But uh, and it's probably good as well because you can't really respond to that either. Like, just, <laughs> just what are you gonna say? Like, oh, well, actually, I'm not incorrect. Like, <laughs> this is a good one as well. You didn't know, ask. <laughs> you know, you know the one Dominic Fike's phone numbers. It was in FIFA 20, and people seem to think that this song is the be all and end all, and it should have been in the top three. Yeah. 
I don't I, mm. really, really, really shouldn't be. Uh, but I just it just about made the top 100. I think it was like 99. And I did that specifically because I knew people would be pissed off at it. Yeah. Um, Why is that one? Or will we get we we'll probably let me see. Uh, okay, I'll go to the first episode of it. It's like okay. Shut up, Aaron. This is so overrated. Dead song. It is actually Dead overrated. Song. I'm I sorry, actually, lads. I actually regret putting it in at all. I only, the only bit of it that's actually decent. Like the vi- the mute, the vibe is terrible. I won't like. Yeah. This is a this is a very critical review here, but the beat is not good. The only bit I like is can you break bread with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this fella, this fella put into my comment section on part seven. Dominic Fike's song phone numbers has to be top three, right? Danny your responded, see part one. <laughs> Your aunt responded, damn. And then Danny says, ah, Aaron Kelly, I don't think any of these commenters have played anything before FIFA 16. That is very true because some of the old songs are absolute like gold. And I think he said, and then I says, I think even 50, FIFA 16 is a push. Oh! And then your man responded, FIFA 12, bud, just don't listen to the sign, the, the songs. How do you not? How do you play FIFA and not? So what? You're te- so he turns the music he's off. He's saying FIFA 12 was his first FIFA, is what he's saying. Right? FIFA 12 had some really good songs. FIFA well. 12 was great. Um, so he's saying that was his first FIFA. So this fella is probably what would he be? It, so FIFA, so we say right. So FIFA 12 was his first game. Like what? What age would you start playing FIFA at? Um, my cousins play FIFA, and I think they're they've been playing for like. The last two years, so I would say seven. Yeah, I'd say seven's a good age, right? Yeah, maybe, so, uh, maybe even further back six if you could grasp the, the controls. Yeah. There, there's no way FIFA 12 was his first FIFA. My first FIFA that I played was FIFA 2004. Damn, right? My, my mine was 2008. Was it? <laughs> yeah, so bad though. Uh, FIFA 2004, I played that on my uncle's old PS2, mm. and uh, that was my first FIFA. I probably wouldn't have played it when I was four, might have been five or six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's still your first. Like. Still my first FIFA that yeah. I played. Right. If FIFA 12 is his first FIFA, <coughs> you can guarantee this fella's probably 50, 10. Oh, FIFA, yeah, yeah. Maybe 14, 15, 16 now. Yeah. Damn. That's there's, mad. So, you know, there's like this is the problem. Right. I mean, it's probably just a different generation, different kind of music taste. But for me, FIFA 13, FIFA 12, FIFA 14, Golden Age of FIFA. Yeah. And Golden Age Definitely. of FIFA songs. Absolutely. Yeah. FIFA songs, FIFA content, the game itself was the great. Game itself, I mean, I just think it was. Yeah, I yeah. I still play FIFA now. Obviously, I play Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders, yeah, yeah. and I play Kickoff, but I don't play Ultimate Team. I don't play anything other than Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders yeah. or Kickoff. I can't play Ultimate Team. I yeah. think I said this before. I just can't do. It. I played Ultimate Team for FIFA fourteen or fifteen. Yeah, and I actually tried to do like um. This is such a fanboy fucking thing to do. I tried to do like KSI Road to Glory. Yeah. So I would like take a, a full bronze team and then like you play every win you get, you can add a, a goal player, a certain style of player. Oh my god. And I this is back when the the only TV I had was downstairs in the in the living room. Yeah. So like the kitchen is there. So mom and everyone's in the kitchen. And I'd be in the sitting room playing FIFA, right? Oh my god. I think I must have I definitely broke two controllers. <laughs> I definitely I was close to giving my poor mother an aneurysm from all the fucking roaring and shouting I was doing. <laughs> oh, like jeez I don't know how she put up with it yeah. God bless you if you are watching this um, but yeah I down, like you know where my living room is yeah. right? it's like literally next door to each other so yeah. it was peak so I haven't played I haven't played Ultimate Team since then because it's, it's fucking it's enraging it's in painful like, boys like there are some lads who are so good at people like I in comparison to people who play Ultimate Team I am shit at FIFA. Like I am proper bad at FIFA. Like I can play FIFA, but I'm bad at. It. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I I play career mode just because it's, it's crack. Like yeah. it's just chill. Although I will rage the odd time. Yeah. But I won't be like a, a smash the controller or a roar the house down. But you're like, a big football manager fan, so obviously. Career oh, mode is like bro. Up your, up your street. Football manager coming to PlayStation as well, and I can't fuck Ooh, them. Shit. I am. I might actually play it. So honestly, do because it might. The the only thing I will say about football manager is on the consoles, it's the smaller version. Mm. But the smaller version is almost a good start right. to get into it. Like, but right. the PC version is is bro, it's so long. Like, it, there's so much is there, in yeah. it. Like, it's it's crazy. But I would definitely recommend Football Manager for people. This is this has changed topic completely. But Brand deal. Uh, yeah, play, Football Manager. I will play your game fully on PlayStation Five. Like, I will be a full Football <laughs> Manager YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was announced yesterday. It's coming to PlayStation Five. It's dropping on. 8th of November I think or something yeah. like that so 
I'd, I'd recommend it for you. I think I, I'd actually like to see you and Danny on FIFA Manager. It would be it'd be yeah. quite funny. Yeah. But um, interesting. Yeah. This is a little speaking of, uh, speaking of Crinkle Bombs Crusaders, actually. Oh yes. Um, we did have something that we've been kind of keeping in keeping in the shadows for a oh. while. Uh, not to you, you've seen it. Um, but I, I'm looking at making it public when the next episode of Crinkle Bombs Crusaders goes out, which should probably be out by the time this goes out. So I might as well say it here. We are thinking about. Releasing <gasps> crinkle bombs. Oh crusaders, my god! Yes, custom made. Yes, jerseys. Now, <laughs> uh, I, I'll put the design up on screen here now. But essentially, what you have, it's kind of similar to our season one, season two kit, mm. um, where it's kind of it's, design is like crazy or, orange and yeah, dark yeah, orange yeah. and light orange, black Adidas stripes. You've got the Artricity League badge on one arm, the Champions League badge on the other one. Um, and you've got what else have you got on the back? Obviously, you've got the crest, you've got the Adidas YouTube sponsor, and then that is sick, by the way. Down yeah. the bottom, I was gonna put a name on it, I was gonna put Lemon on the back of it, but therefore, Lemon would have been on the back of every, every jersey, single so. jersey. Although, I would argue everyone would be happy everyone with that, would probably but want there's Lemon definitely jersey. gonna be two or three that'd be like, We don't want, yeah, I just, back, so. don't, just don't want a name. Dude, dude, you can do what you want, basically, is what we're saying. Yeah. With them. And then at the bottom, we have a, a link that's like https. Dot, dot, you know, youtube.com forward slash Aaron Kelly is like on the bottom of it. So like so it's, cool. it's pretty cool. Um, we're thinking about releasing them. Would ye be interested in buying them? Now I've only looked at getting sixteen to start off with, and I yeah. know we'll get rid of sixteen. Oh, easy! Like like I said to you that time, that yeah. I can get sixteen will shift. Yeah, hundred like percent. Sixteen will go, and if the demand is there, if the demand is there, we'll release them. I'll make a little PayPal or something. This is the start of the merch. Of Aaron Kelly merch. Didn't you say as well? Would we, we okay to say this? Yeah, well, yeah. So Aaron, obviously, for those you don't know, does a bit of traveling around for the sports side of things. You actually got asked. You got recognized by people. Oh, I did yeah. And they they actually that, yeah. they actually asked you. Yeah. For, do you do merch? Yeah, yeah. That was a funny one. So we were down at Galway Cup for the busy. Remember Kennedy Cup? Yeah. Galway Cup is like the the C, like the age group below. Or age, yeah, age group before that. So you go to Galway Cup one year, you go to Kennedy Cup the next year. Mm. We were down with the under 13s, the under 12s were down there as well from Longford. Um, me and Dad aren't actually coaches, but we were brought in to help with yeah, the coaching yeah, yeah. on the week. So, you know, I, I do enjoy going up to the Galway Cup anyway. It's it's a nice it's a nice week. Um, and we were playing Dundalk. The 13s were playing Dundalk on, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday. And uh, we're going to the sideline before the game. And... There's this group of young lads like sitting behind us, and uh, I was just like chatting to my mother, and all I hear is Aaron. Mm -hmm. I, was like, I was like, "Okay, that's not me. I'm gonna keep talking to my mother here." <laughs> and then he goes, "Aaron Kelly." Oh no! And I went, "Holy fuck! What?" <laughs> the knife was grabbed. And he, this fellow was like, "This fellow was like, we watch your videos. They're from Mayo." Yeah. Oh, fuck! I was like, "No fucking way! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here!" I was like, "No fucking way!" He's like, "You fucking love your videos," and I was like. Jesus, thanks. <laughs> so I was like, that's the first time that's ever fucking happened. And then um, they were like, oh, do, do you do... It wasn't them, it was actually the under-12s who we didn't spend the week with. Um, but I was on, I actually was brought onto the sideline for one of their games. And one of them were like, you know, they watched the videos as well. And they were like, um, do you do merch? I was, mm. like, I was like, why the fuck would I do merch? <laughs> why the fuck would I do merch? And yeah, yeah. I was like, no one would fucking buy it. And they're like, if we buy it. Oh, jeez. fucking buy it. Jeez. I was like... And that's when I kind of sparked the idea. It's like, well, could we do Crinkle Bottom Crusaders jerseys? Because I don't want to do something shit that's just like a mug with Aaron Kelly's yeah. name on the. I think I think you've probably done it the best possible way. Yeah, I want to I want to make something that's like it means something. It's not just pumping out shit yeah. for the sake of it. And the thing is, like you said, like obviously, like the sixteen you'll get. Obviously, like if we ever go go on recreations or anything like that or football footage, like that's in there. That could be promoting it. Yeah. Like, it's 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 the perfect merch because yeah. it's not like. It's not even like we're trying to force it down people if we were in videos because we're literally making a video about the team which the merch is based on. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's a I think it's the perfect yeah. starting point anyway for Aaron Curry merch. Yeah. And like, like imagine the scenes if you're like walking out in public and you see someone wearing Crinkle Bombs Crusaders. I shirts. think that I actually think I'd have to get we'd have to almost ask for a picture. Man, that'd be unbelievable. I think that would be that would be the most surreal moments. Yeah. Like and it's not and the thing is like it would just be like. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd actually even believe it if I see it. Yeah. <laughs> like you go to a match one day and someone's warming up with a cricket ball. Could you imagine? Mental, like, that would mental. be gas. But uh, yeah, I kind of like. I I can order them now whenever I want. Mm. 
I can order the first 16 whenever I want, and I'm sure we'll be able to shift them. Oh, easy, yeah, yeah. I kind of fi- want to do up PayPal and stuff so people can, because like, I don't want to be losing money on them yeah, at the same this time. Is the- like, <laughs> I, I don't mind making my money back. I don't care about profit. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't care about profit. It's, for me, it's just pumping out nice fucking merch, and mm. uh, like that means something to people, like you know, and for, for us as well. Like I'd, I, I really want these jerseys now. <laughs> same, I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm the same. I'm yeah. mad to get this jersey. But at the same time, I don't like. They, they will be pricey enough to, to order. I have the money to do it now, but I want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get my money back, preferably or most of it. <laughs> Obviously, like I won't get all of it back because uh, I'll be paying for my own. Yeah, thing. yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it, that could be an interesting exploit for sure. And if people do want to get their jerseys printed I'm sure you can go into any print shop anywhere that'll do it yeah, it'd be, it'd be I, I know there's a print shop even in Longford yeah. shout out Ed from Edit Print in Longford uh, he's helped us out with a lot of stuff before including the Sub to Aaron t-shirt that I, uh, <laughs> that I have I was given that for Christmas Sub to Aaron that's class um, but yeah yeah if you go in there somewhere like that and get a name on the back if you want, you want to get your own name get it fucking Damien Lemon on the back Damien know? Lemon it would probably be the most popular jersey in Ireland come 2025 I, I think I so I think so I think so whenever <laughs> I post anything Lemon related on TikTok the comment section comments, is go, Lemon go, 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 <laughs> spam. it's unreal mate. it's unreal uh, he is the goat though there is no it's just a shame that he's like 30 yeah and he's like what 60 something or 70 so he's like 68 or 69 rated he's one of the best players. he's still good enough to be in the starting 11 but it's like it's like he will start going down soon and that yeah, would be yeah. sad but I'm going to make a thing where, you know, when he does retire, he will be Nigel's Prodigy. assistant, assistant yeah, yeah. manager. You know? <laughs> yeah, it has to be the thing that happens. But look, Kringle Bounce Crusaders, I fucking love making that series. It's yeah. made me enjoy FIFA again, as much as I rage at it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and it's entertaining as well, like, you know. Yeah, um, I, I think it's a it's a really good series. And uh, Season 3, Episode 1 has been recorded. It's got an unbelievable goal. We signed um, Janelli Mbula, who used to play for Stoke and Marseille and a couple of others. He's like 68 rated, so he's not even good enough to start. <laughs> but he came in and he scored an absolute fucking scream. He's made a statement, basically. He's, he's what made we're a saying. statement to be in the start. He has made a statement. But, um, yeah, no, funny times. And uh, hopefully, by the, the time we record the next shot, so <laughs> we could wear the Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders jerseys. That will have to happen, though. If, yeah. if they're not, if we haven't, if we have them and they haven't appeared in the video... Yeah, we have to do it for the Shy Talk podcast. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, exciting times ahead. So, a bit of breaking news on the Shy Talk podcast, ladies and gentlemen. I've just gone to Instagram and seen that all EFL fixtures this weekend postponed until further notice, as are all Premier League games postponed uh, from this weekend. This is obviously following the death of uh, Queen Elizabeth, and but I suppose now this gives us a chance with a bit of a break. Uh, in play there's been quite a lot of fixtures crammed in this season we've had a couple of midweek games as well Mm. Um, what has been your early season thoughts i.e. you know player of the season so far I think there's only one really Uh, your thoughts on your own team team, Man United Okay, I'll talk about Tommy Tuchel as well. Uh, we'll we'll do that. At some oh, point. it's so sad. That it's, it's so just... sad. I'm gonna have to. Sh- I'm gonna have to get like a cut out of Graham Potter and put him on Tuchel's head now. But anyway, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad, man. <laughs> you it's so sad. You can't see it, lads, but it is actually like, and even the one step beyond is what. Well, oh, anyway, on a more, well, not maybe a more positive note. We'll 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 talk about it anyway. So, what was you said? Who's the early player of the season? Early player of the season. Aaron Halland. Erling, yeah. My God, this man is scaring me. Yeah, he's scaring me. He's becoming me. a problem. <laughs> he is becoming a huge problem, and like, I think his biggest thing is that not only is he just a world class player himself, he has Kevin De Bruyne feeding him. And I, when I say feed, he is literally spoon feeding the man yeah. goals. That goal against Villa. Did you see that one yeah. where De Bruyne just about keeps it in but whips in a fucking wicked cross and mm. there's Erling back post little tap in there you go it's, it's dangerous it's a problem it is a big big feckin he's, problem he, he's bullying Premier League defenders like, I don't I haven't actually seen a Premier League defender stop him like do you know what I mean like not even just keep him from scoring physically stop him yeah he is huge right? yeah. the man is massive and even the way he fucking runs yeah. he looks like he'd go through you he like would. he he would go up through brick walls. What is he's on nine goals now or something in or has he got even uh, more? I think he's in I think he's in double figures. He's now. in double figures he's on, now. He's on oh. ten, 10 Premier League goals. He got oh. he got two during the week in the Champions League as well. Mm. In City's four 0 win over Sevilla. Um It's a big it's, pro- it, it's a big for problem. For me, it, it just does I don't see how City don't win everything this year. I think so. I think 
Like, this is their you best. Say, you could say Champions League; they could be stopped by like a Real Madrid or someone. But... Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think realistically, I just can't. I'm trying to think like where are they going to be stopped. No one's going to stop them in the, in the yeah in the Premier League. It's done. I think even early doors, mm-hmm. I'd be fairly confident to put money on it that City win the title and they win it by maybe twelve points or something. Like I say that. they 10, have 12 points. Up by Christmas. Yeah, yeah. honestly, like, I think. We say this every year about the Prem. If Liverpool don't stop City, no one will. Yeah. And, and Liverpool are too far behind already. Yeah. In my opinion. Um, what I will say, though, is it, it's the, this start of the season has, other than City, which is, if we took City out of it, it's been very interesting. I'm actually saying this It's is, been interesting. I, uh, I've, been, I've had my ups and downs, and it's only been the, the less than a month. Yeah. But I'm very interested to see how the the Champions League race goes yeah. and then from that Europa League Conference League and maybe even relegation to a point yeah it'd be interesting because for, for me I was like looking at pre-season I was like Fulham are going to go down yeah um, I was Mitrovic like, stinker but he's been unreal and Fulham he's actually been, been unreal. Like, Chelsea were due to play Fulham this weekend and I was scared and uh, still am uh, but like you I've had huge ups and downs this season and we're only yeah. like the 9th of September it's it's crazy like, thing it's still the 9th of the September like um Chelsea have already lost their manager, um, which we will probably bring yeah. bring around to in a minute. <laughs> we'll bring around to in a minute. Like Liverpool have had a stinky start to the season. As Liverpool, well. I I don't know if I said this to you. Um, you probably have your opinion on this. I was asked recently, what do you think Liverpool's main problem is? And I'm going to go on record to say this, and probably a lot of people agree with me when I say this. Bro, Trent Alexander Arnold is a huge problem for them. He is a man. Did you see the Napoli? You've definitely seen that. Oh, bro, it's bad. Like his controller disconnected. It literally was. Oh my god, it literally was because he just stops. He doesn't. Now I, I, I made the point for the goal where he is literally just. It's your man, Angisa. Was it that scored? He's played for Fulham. Yeah, I knew I recognized him, but for his goal, I will say. It's not so. I know people focus on Trent. It's not solely Trent's fault. Whoever the defender is in front of him, Gomez also yeah, yeah, also just stands there and just watches, like literally just watches the ball rolling behind them yeah. for your man Angisa. But I, I just I thought he was absolutely awful defensively, absolutely awful. Oh, he an absolute stinker. I, I I think Liverpool need a right back, yeah. an out and out defensive right back, yeah. and at least give Trent an option to play. Midfield, yeah, or yeah. something because he can't, bro. He can't play, he can't play defense. Huge problem. Huge problem. And I think even his confidence, like the way he's like that kind of just static, just does not want to chase a ball, doesn't want to yeah. do any of this, doesn't want to do any of that. It's what says you about this, though. Obviously, Trent's a problem, but you know, what about Liverpool's mentality, right? And what I mean by that, I'll expand on this by saying it's very we said this when in 2019 City. Won the title against Liverpool on the final day. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, they're going to struggle next season because, like, the, the the sheer disappointment of that it's could, hard, like. could, could lead to their mentality dropping and, you know, a drop off in form. Mm. They went on to win the league the following year in 2020. Then we have last season, Liverpool were two results away from a quadruple. Two results. Two results. They won the two cups against Chelsea. Mm. They. Lose the F the lose the Champions League final around Madrid, and only for Villa bottling it on the final day, they would have had the Prem. Yeah, they were literally two results away from a quadruple. They were two results and uh, two goals. Yeah. away from a treble if not now. And that that happens. I'd imagine mentally, it's so difficult to come back from that, and that's why like Jurgen Klopp talks about his team being mentality monsters and all that, mm. and I agree, but maybe. The cycle has just reached its limit. I think I'd agree with that because, like this Liverpool team now, I think I've had so many occasions where they've been close and haven't done it. Mm. Obviously, they have won the Premier League, they have won the Champions League. The two seasons they did that were probably their two best seasons, probably. Yeah. But previous to that, and even now, they've had moments where you said this is, could be a year they do it. And they get to the stage, and then it just kind of not falls apart, but it just is like doesn't work. Out. Yeah, the little extra yeah. isn't there. I'd say it probably is catching up now with a few lads. Yeah. Um, I think the Mane transfer as well. I was going to say has actually shook 
that team up a lot more than I think a lot of people thought it would. Yeah. Um, not now. Obviously, Luis Diaz is probably he's probably he's the best, best player. Yeah. Asset at the minute. Yeah. But I think for the likes of likes of Salah, um, Firmino, even a bit as well. Not yeah. a whole lot, but Salah has just not been the same. He's coming on my FPL team. He's he's one game, and I think because of obviously the postpone of the games now. Yeah. Oh fuck! You know, I, oh, I made. Tra- What'd you do? I've made two transfers prior to the, the information. Oh shit! So that's a bollocks. Oh well, no, I probably won't get it two. Might, I, I might, might still I, work yeah, out. I might not get a free. Well, maybe they'd give a free transfer because of it being a buy, but maybe maybe not. Maybe. But uh, oh, yeah, God. I, I agree with the the Mane transfer to an example. I think their recruitment has been poor as well. They need a fucking. I don't understand why they didn't. Need a midfielder, yeah. man. They're still playing James Milner. Bro, James Milner is awful. Like, man. I'm sorry. First, first minute against Napoli. Shot comes in. He goes. <laughs> he just stuck his what eye. What are you yes. doing? Even, even against um, United that time, he just slid across. Yeah. He got absolutely done. It's for the Sancho then, goal. Yeah, and yeah. then absolutely tore into Van Dijk. But like, yeah. You mentioned Van Dijk. He's been shocking He's been as terrible. well. Terrible. Jesus Christ. Joe Gomez, best defender in the world. That was talked about. Trent was meant to be the best right back in the world. <sighs> Robertson's had a massive drop. So you, you argue maybe Allison is probably the only one. Like they're definitely missing Thiago. Oh uh, yeah, big time. Salas had a huge drop off. Firmino been dropping off for years now. For being mm. honest, Darwin Nunez hasn't hit the fucking ground running at all. He, he has hit. He has hit someone. He has, but he hasn't hit the ground. Put his fucking nut in Yaki man. That was the right. best. That might have been the. I actually kind of like Darwin Nunez a bit more now because he did yeah. that. Because that is such a shit housery. There was absolutely no need. Sean Shades actually of the man that has returned to the Premier League now, Diego Costa. Oh my! I forgot he's coming, bro. It's going to be different. Diego Costa's back. And Do you think he's moves. settled down? Do you think he's going to no, come back? No. You think he's still going to no, head kiss? He's a head kiss. Good. Man. He's a head kiss. I think. Man, I remember seeing pre-season. Yeah, it was like oh Ronaldo in pre-season, and he's just like doing chin-ups and stuff, and he's mm. like. He's like, oh, and he's got fucking really going for it. And it's like Diego Costa in preseason, and he's in like a dune buggy or something, flying down a bumpy hill oh, in fucking Brazil, Jesus and he's just like, <laughs> he's there like punching people as he's coming by them. Like, he's a fucking. Did you ever see the one when Chelsea won the league uh, in 2017, and we were celebrating? We won the league at West Brom. He did something to someone, didn't he? John Terry was bending down in the dressing room, and Costa's jumping around. He goes up behind him and goes. <laughs> Oh my god! He's a weirdo, man. He's such a freak. What is wrong with him? Like, you know, what I is? Fucking love the man. He actually is gassed, though. To I be fair, love the man. You, you you hate him at some times, but you love. You have to love him. If he's your player, you fucking love him. And if he if he's against you, like the the boys in the house, Liverpool fans in the house, used to give out yards about yeah, Diego it. Costa, man. Like it was, they hated the man. Like he, they were like, oh, he's such a fucking scumbag. I hate him so <laughs> much. But you know. The he's game a, is the game. The game's the game. He was a bit of a Suarez in that sense, like a bit of a shit house. And Darwin Nunez seems to be the same, but Darwin Nunez hasn't really been backing it up so no. far this season. He scored a lovely goal against Fulham. He, he did actually, day. to be fair. And then, the as you things. say, proceeded to headbutt a man yeah. for basically pulling him. Yeah. That's not good. Not good. Um, uh, shall we move on to Chelsea then? I think we shall. Obviously, the the shock, or maybe not shock, maybe you, you, you're weighing on your opinion here. I... Obviously, that would, would, if you haven't heard, you surely heard by now. Um, Thomas Tuchel sacked. Was it Tuesday or Monday morning? Uh, I think it might have been Tuesday. Well, there we now. We're this Friday tar- now. Yeah. Been Tuesday or Wednesday? Yeah, Tuesday or Wednesday. Thomas Tuchel. No, uh, it was Wednesday. It was the day after. I was a champion. Yeah, it right was. There. You're right. You're right. So he was sacked. He was announced. It was sacked. Um, I personally thought I was a bit of a shock. Um, I seen his I, Sky Sports put up his stats. He has the third or fourth best win percentage as a Chelsea manager. Fourth behind only Conte, Ancelotti and Mourinho. I mean, that's elite managers. That's some really solid manager's name you have in there. He not only did that, he won the Champions League for you. Was it his first season he won the Champions yeah, League for he was you? Only, he wasn't even there for a full season. He wasn't even there for a full Frank season. Got, Frank got sacked in January. Tuchel came in and then he won the Champions League. Yeah. In, in, in less than six months. Since then, he also won the Super Cup and the World Club Cup. Got us to two cup finals. Mm. We started off the season a bit stinky. He literally, he literally made Chelsea by technicality the best club in the world. Best, like literally, our bio on Twitter is champions of the world, and it's thanks to him. And now he's gone. <laughs> and now he's gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, I, I said it. I made a TikTok immediately after it went out, and I was like, just in shock. 
I didn't think like I said we're playing due to play Fulham this weekend now obviously it's a it's postponed but it's probably for the best that it's been postponed almost yeah I, I kind of said if he loses if they lose against Fulham he might be in trouble certainly when you're a Chelsea fan and over the years you're used to seeing managers get sacked willy nilly mm. and like it's pretty much a revolving manager's door um, and I was like if he doesn't beat Fulham and beat them convincingly I'd be a little bit worried for him yeah um, but he didn't even get that chance. So no, he didn't. Wednesday morning after the, the defeat to Dinamo Zagreb in the Champions League group stage, which was admittedly fucking shit. Yeah, it was bad. But man. I am sick to death of these fucking players, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Edward, okay, we'll go through them all. Yeah, here we go, here Edward we go. Edward Mendy. Absolutely get them done. Edward Mendy, get him out the fucking door. Oh. Get him out. The bad start. I was, I was happy, actually, to see him dropped and Kepa come in. Really? Since, okay, yeah, fair. Zagreb. Because you got to put down a marker. If you're not performing for you Chelsea, an elite it. football club. The best club in the world. Best club by, in by, the world. By your by, Twitter bio. By our Twitter bio. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's been utter shit this season. Yeah, back it. Um, Reese James, we'll give him a buy. I think he's been all right. Yeah. Despite the fart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have my own opinion on Reese James. I and it's... I, th- I think Reese is probably one of the few that's done all right this season. Mm. It's very clear when he's not playing. Yeah. Because my God, it's no yeah. attacking prowess at all, and he's playing right wing back. Right. Right wing back as well. Yeah. Fafana has only just come in. I think he will be a decent signing in time. Yep. Um, got absolutely outpaced by Orsich for that first goal during the week. Mm. Thiago Silva, I fucking love the man. I've not a bad word to say about him. Yeah. Genuinely, I'm a bad word. To say I about think him. he. There was a clip actually going around on TikTok where he is like absolutely fucked. Yeah. But he is. Throwing himself around the gap. He cares, Yeah, man. he wants that fucking... He's like 38 as well. So That's like, mad. Crazy. Koulibaly, I'm very... Ooh. Ooh. I'm not sold on him. I mm, Maybe there's a reason he did, couldn't get out of Syria for all these years. Yeah, maybe, maybe. there's a reason. All the hype about him as well for years. So much hype. Two years ago, if you said sign Koulibaly, that would have been... Huge. huge. It still is huge. It's a huge transfer. Yeah, but I was two, like, Holy fuck, yeah, nowhere as well. Year and a half ago, if we had said Koulibaly is coming to Chelsea, my God, that would have that would have broke. He looks incredibly slow, <laughs> and he he's not great with the ball at his feet. Uh, Kukurea it's an interesting sign, and it's too much money though. Same as Fafana, too much money. Mm. Hasn't really hit the ground running either. I think Chilwell deserves his place in this team over him at the minute. Yeah. Georgie. Jorginho <laughs> Jorginho Fuck off Yeah It's time to go It's time to go Look, Listen I didn't like Jorginho at first When we all remember the, the yeah. rants from I was sitting over in that corner of the shed yeah. Giving out about Jorginho um, Man he's just got to go It's done How old is Jorginho now? Is he 30? Maybe 30 He might be 30 mm. uh, Kante got injured in the game against Tottenham No nope, But nope. was playing well up until that Yeah Kovacic I love Kovacic. Um, he's not been terrible. Again, he didn't start the season in the team because he was injured. Mm. Here we go. Ruben, Here we go. Ruben off his cheek. Had a good game against Tottenham. Has been shit ever since. <laughs> played at right wing back in that game for some reason. Why? <laughs> Has he ever played right wing back? Like, oh, we'll play with Reese James to stop Son and that kind of worked to be fair. But like, it hasn't worked mm. ever since. So it's done. Uh, don't get rid of Ruben. Um, Conor Gallagher really wanted him to do well. Yeah. Really wanted him to do well. I actually wanted him to do well as well, but he... Oh, bro. He's, he's not started well. No. At all. <laughs> uh, Mason Mount has been utter wank. And I love Mason Mount. You love... You know me. I yeah. love Mason Mount. That, I know that hurts to say. That definitely hurts he's to say. He's been wank. And this is why, like, I won't pussyfoot around this, yeah? Mm. If a player's playing shit, I'll tell you he's playing shit. Despite... I love Mason Mount. You know how much I love Mason Mount. This man loves Mason Mount, boys. He's a, he's a Chelsea boy, <laughs> you know? Love Mason Mount. I remember saying on the podcast, I'd love to have him on. Or, like, do, you know? <laughs> I remember saying I'd love to do a video with Mason Mount. Like, because he seems like he's a really nice guy. Decent lad, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I can't avoid the fact that he's got zero goals, zero assists, and has been utter shit this season. <laughs> right? Raheem Sterling, I rate as a signing. Yeah. And I think he's actually done alright, but he's the only one in that attacking... He's probably the only out-and-out attacker you have yeah. right now. He's got three goals in the premise so far. I can't complain about Sterling. Honestly, can't. Here we go, though. Kai Here we go. Havertz. This is the one. This is the man. Uh, listen. <laughs> Kai... Striker extraordinaire. Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz. Love Kai Havertz, love him because you know obviously we know he he gave us a beautiful moment. Yeah, in, uh, the iconic moment in even Porto. Yeah, Champions League final winner and goal. He's been he's been in disgrace. 
utter disgrace. <laughs> Timo Werner, yeah, oh. gone back to Germany. He's got a fucking hat trick the weekend, and he's got he's got goals and assists in his game now. It's it's just out of nowhere. This man has turned the season around. Yeah, uh, surprisingly, he's left Chelsea, and that's happened. <laughs> uh, we've brought in Aubameyang. I want to hear your thoughts on Aubameyang. I think it's a fucking it's a panic if ever I did hear one. Mm-hmm. Massive panic signing. Um, Can we also talk about you signed him after his house was broken into? And listen, he played against Dynamo Zagreb the other night with the fucking face mask on. Mm. He didn't look ready. He didn't look ready. Of course, the man had his fucking house he broken. He had his fucking jaw broken. Battered in his own house. <laughs> and you're asking him, it's like it's like being, it's like fucking now if someone was on the phone, we were on about it inside, like, you know, boys are away for a football game. Yeah. Oh, sure, you'd come out, like, you know, it'd only be, it'd only be about 20 minutes or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your man had his fucking face smashed in, boys. Probably still suffering from the trauma. His fucking family this. even still probably in therapy for <laughs> Like, I, I felt sorry for him that he was brought in that soon. Um, there, there's there's a couple more that have come in and played here and there. Armando Brogia is a section star for me. He just think? From, yeah, I think I I love Armando Brogia. Ever since he's come in, when he's come on, he has looked like he actually cares. Mm. He's quick, he's strong. He looks like he's ready to fucking hit fellas just to make him feel better. You know, <laughs> bit of a Roy Keane in that sense. <laughs> Roy Keane. Um, but o- overall, with Tuchel, I'm sad, and I think it's been done too early. And you know, it's. I, I believe now this is an interesting one for you being a United fan mm. that uh, the the breakdown in communications happened between Tuchel and Bowley when Tuchel refused to sign Cristiano Ronaldo during the summer yeah so Todd Bowley obviously new American owner thought oh we'll get Ronaldo in man mm. sell those jerseys be great for the fucking you know <laughs> we'll bring him in it'll, it'll make us loads of money yeah <laughs> Tuchel went sorry He's not I don't off. want Ronaldo. Ronaldo's not going to run for me. Yeah. Can I, I will say, you are dead right. Can I, I'm going to make a very controversial statement. Yes. No more than you and Mason Mount. But God, Ronaldo. I would absolutely... I would die. If Ronaldo told me to jump in front of a train with no reason behind it, <laughs> with no logic, he just said... He was just annoyed and he said, jump in front of that fucking train. I would throw my... Before he even finish the sentence, I would throw myself in front of the train. But when Ronaldo plays, we are shit. Ronaldo played against Sociedad last night. He tried, God bless him, he tried. But he, he if he's not getting consistent games, he's fucking tired. Yeah. And it shows. Do you and agree with the people then that said last season that Man United are better without Ronaldo? Is that you admitting defeat in that sense? I would say last season, last season this is, Ronaldo was our only goal scorer. Mm-hmm. He... he Carried that team. Oh no! Are you dead, we, camera. <laughs> we interrupt this broadcast. All right, as we've lost access to our cameras, so you're just going to be looking at stills of me and Grievous for the rest of the episode. It's not, we <laughs> Hopefully, haven't got, we haven't got long left. For being honest, we're yeah. an hour and seven minutes. Hopefully, they're good stills. <laughs> yeah. Bad screenshots. There's some awful screenshots of me. God bless. I mean, this, this, if anything, will give the viewers uh, an idea of what it's like to just listen to us rather than have see us. visuals as well. Maybe so. they prefer that almost. Maybe they do. <laughs> Maybe they do. And you know, who could blame them? Who could blame them at this stage? <laughs> Two boys in a shed, in a studio. Yeah. We, we, we absolutely... Anyway, going back to the thing about Ronaldo. Look, I, I really like Ronaldo. I think last season, he carried us through Champions League. Yeah. So, my opinion is, look, last season, I would have said... As much as the chances were there when Ronaldo wasn't there, I'd say no. I don't think we were better without Ronaldo last season. This season, though, with Rashford... Now, look, it's very early days, and I'm not going to be the one to say Rashford's back, like a lot of people have. I actually said it in the verdict. Did you say Rashford I was said, back? I was like, well, I know, it could be wrong here, but Rashford might be back. I, the only reason I'm not saying Rashford's back is because I've had my heart broken so many times with this guy. So, consistent. if we get consistent with Rashford, happy days. Um, but we have likes of Sancho... Rashford and um, it's probably going to be Anthony now but it's going to be between Anthony or Alanga yeah. I just think with that amount of pace up front it's it's just the opportunity for counter attack in football is so much better Ronaldo 9 times out of 10 you have to whip a ball in for him yeah. if you play in behind he will 9 times out of 10 cut back yeah. or take a snapshot and if it goes in it goes in and he's great and he is great but yeah. You know, and I think did you see the stats about Bruno Fernandes and Cristiano Ronaldo? 
Oh, Bruno basically plays better when Ronaldo's Ronaldo. R- Ronaldo? Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo. <laughs> he uh, lose the rights to yeah. United. Ronaldo! Ronaldo. <laughs> um, no, so when Ronaldo doesn't play, Bruno's stats effectively doubled. Yeah. In terms of, like, he has more goals, more assists, more goal involvements. He has better passes. He's better touches on the ball in the opposition box. Mm-hmm. He is just so much better. And I think the problem is, it's the same, really, with, with every team that's kind of had Ronaldo in it over, since Madrid. Well, even Madrid, even to an extent. When Ronaldo plays, you feel obligated to give him the ball. Facts. Because he is, he is in the discussion of the GOAT. Yeah. And obviously Messi's up there as well. And we, we've said this before, two goats. There can be two goats. Ish. <laughs> can there be? That was debatable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was debatable. We're not getting into this today. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, yeah, so what I'm saying is, even at Juventus, when he was at Juventus in particular, it was it was evident mm. that it was all basically Ronaldo. It comes to United, it was basically all Ronaldo. For a time at Madrid, it was all Ronaldo. Yeah. It's just an obligation to pass to him. So... I think obviously with Ronaldo not starting under this new system that Ten Hag is playing, which can I say, I am appreciating Ten Hag ball. Yeah. I, except in the Sociedad game, which we, which I don't want to say it's Harry Maguire. I mean, Ronaldo played in that game as well. He did. He did. Ronaldo played in that game. Harry Maguire and Lindelof started in the back. I never want to see that pairing again. Please God, we have surely got over this period of time. Yeah. Um, Fred played as well. Uh, I don't really have anything bad to say about Fred. I, he, 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 I'd have Fred before I'd have McTominay. Yeah, that's what, that's what I would say. Agree with that, yeah. uh, I know McTominay's had a good game last game, but I just think he is uh, fucking McClapped, as, as, as your man says. McClapped. Um, so yeah. Anyway, going back to the original point, I just think the team plays better this season. We've seen it. It it it, it does. Ju- it just does play better. If we had played Liverpool, if we had played Liverpool, if we had played Arsenal, Ronaldo up front, we might have got a goal. I, I'm not denying that Ronaldo wouldn't have scored. Yeah. I just think our chances up front would have been few and far between and it would have been maybe double the pressure yeah. on us going back. Having said that, obviously we've brought Anthony in. Mm. I don't know what you think of Anthony. I like the look of him. I like him. I am he quest- looks like a fellow you'd want to kick on a Sunday league. He too. does. And the celebration after his goal, it oh, I, man, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say on record now, what are you doing? I don't care if you're doing that for family bro. You're, Roar. <laughs> XD, raw. <laughs> like, you've just signed for the biggest club in the world. You're signing, you've scored in one of the biggest leagues in the world. There's going to be millions of eyes on you. A man's just gone, raw. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Why? Just stop it. Just yeah, do Just do a normal, just hug your teammates. Yeah. Give give something. That you, you, I, I did like the whole jersey thing. You know, the, the passion was there. Yeah, yeah. And you fucked it. Yeah. Within 10 seconds, you fucked it with a cringy little fucking roar. Yeah. I don't think there was any. I think he said to show his family and friends that he scores, and they know it's uh, it's him oh, that well, scores. No, it's him. <laughs> exactly, they fucking know. Jesus Christ! I wouldn't be able to tell Anthony scored by the look of him or the fact he's got Anthony on the back of his fucking jersey. Jesus Christ! I wonder who scored there, lads. You fucking. Oh, I was gonna say something there. I'm just awful profanities. I was gonna scream there down the mic, and I just seen how much it spiked from that little <laughs> segment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back and step. Can, we, can I ask a question though? Right. Last season, first game of the year, he played Leeds at Old Trafford. Yeah, and we won 6 2. 6 2 or something. Bruno Fernandes got a hat trick. Mm. Ronaldo comes in next game, Bruno has a shocker season. Yeah. So, you know, would ye have had a better season last year mm. without Ronaldo? That's the question. I'm going to say. Because he would have played a different style of football. He would have. And the thing is, the main reason I think a lot of us wanted Ronaldo was because he was linked to City. And he, he's, he's it's a homeboy. I think that's the only reason United signed him. Yeah, oh, definitely. 100% is. Even if Pep didn't want Ronaldo, he was just linked to there. So it was it was like, no, we can't let this happen. And obviously people were saying, no, Ronaldo would never have done that. Of course he would have. He would have done that. He would have absolutely... If, if, and Th- I have, if Thomas Tuchel agreed with Todd Bowley this summer... He's gone to Chelsea. Go Ronaldo. Ab- oh, he would have gone to Chelsea. He would have on, done. On God, he would have gone. And like, I don't blame him. I, I, I said this before. Look, I really didn't want to go to City. But if he went to City, I wouldn't... I would have you know I mean? like it, it, he's trying to get one big trophy before he goes and I totally get that I would have hurt I would have been hurt but I would have said it but in answer to your question I would have said if we see we had do we have we still have, who do we have? fuck who do we just have we had Ollie wasn't it no 
Oh God. Ranyuk. Rangnick, that's Jesus Christ! I've, he's so forgettable, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. He is just forgettable. His time was the most forgettable. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's just I just Rangnick. I'm sorry, bro. And he's fucked us as well by fucking off the Austria. You fucking rat. Yeah. You rat boy. Um. Anyway, yeah, I just think um, it just it was never really gonna work. Probably Ronaldo. Um. And I just think if we had the right manager who was going to work with the likes of Rashford and Marsha maybe before he went out on loan and we could have got a, a good system going probably would have maybe played better but we never know now I personally would have liked to think we would have been better if not better on par because obviously we're not focusing on one man to get his goals yeah. um, so that's my two cents on it but um, obviously Ronaldo isn't starting now so look we'll see how it goes but for me I'm happy with the way things are I think Ronaldo, whether he likes it or not, he's going to be here till January. Yeah. Even if I, I don't even think he would he bother with a January move. Maybe he might. I think if 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 the option comes up, there was talks of Napoli right at the end. Napoli. Of the I don't know if you've seen, but Napoli came out and actually said, "Look, we we had no real conversation oh. at all. So we I was we we just wonder. See, Ronaldo's uh, agent is very tricky in a bit. He's a he's a he's a bit of a sly. He's a bit of a cowboy. He is indeed. You know, he'll throw out these stories and just like make it look like he came from Napoli more than likely, um, to to try and force through a move because ultimately he wants to play in the Champions League for as long as he can. And mm. you know, even seeing him playing in the Europa League last night was a bit weird. It was, t- he, yeah, it was, it hurt. Um, because although like he wants to keep hold of his, t- he's obviously top scorer in Champions League history. I don't think Messi will catch him. No, I I'm I and like Messi. I actually thought it played. Decent enough. It was the events they were playing. Yeah. I thought he played quite well, actually. I thought he was decent. I think Messi's role has changed drastically since he's gone to PSG. But I think, and do you know how people say now, like, oh, Ronaldo changed his style. That's why he's better, bro. Messi has changed his style a lot, and I think now, seeing it more and more, like, you could play Messi as a six, yeah, and he'd be the best player on the pitch. Literally, like his his passing, yeah, passing range, like that that that's the thing. Like, man, it's like even like even if you play him as a six, and you said. Defend, even if he doesn't defend, man. If you get, if you give him the ball out from the back, it's out, and he's starting an attack Haunt, yeah. all day, every day. Nine times out of ten, he starts the yeah. attack. And nearly every week, I'm, I keep I'm keeping an eye on PSG because obviously I love Messi. Mm. It's the only reason I keep an eye on PSG. Uh, I keep an eye on PSG every week, and he's getting like assists every week. Really? Yeah. Fuck. Like it's ridiculous, bro. Like he's not <clears> getting in the positions that much to score goals anymore. He's nearly like leaving that to Mbappe. Really? And, and Neymar. That's. Do we have time to discuss something really quick? Yeah. Okay. okay. Obviously, I don't know. Do we talk about this the last day? We might have mentioned this the last day, bro. Kylian Mbappe. Ooh, what yeah, do you What do you make of that situation? Because I'm seeing a lot of things. Uh, I don't know if we talked about obviously his, his. I think we only discussed he was he was potential to get that contract that we were on about. Maybe we were talking about him going to Real Madrid. I can't remember. Maybe, 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 maybe. I don't think we discussed this topic. Yeah, I think, in particular. Yeah, I think we talked about him going to Madrid, and then obviously PSG would have to give him a good contract. But obviously now he's got a contract. He's not only got a contract, but he has a certain. Position. He basically owns the football. He basically club. owns Paris Saint Germain now, and he's 22, 23? 23 or something. Like twenty three. Yeah. And his performances on the pitch, right? There was a lot of instances where I've seen he just doesn't seem to pass to Neymar a lot. Or Messi. Or Messi. So, my question to you, Mr. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Do you think that is a man who is on the way to ruining his career because of the power he's been given at that club? Yes, and I think he should have gone to Real Madrid in the summer. I fully agree with you. I think he should have gone to Real Madrid. If he if he really was showing ambition as a player, I don't see like PSG have PSG are a fashion club. Yeah, let's be real. The they NBA, literally are a fashion PSG club. PSG are a fashion club. They, they make lovely gear, you mm. know, the, the, training tops, you know, training jackets, even the Paris, training shirt. Paris the city of love. Yeah. You know, all that kind of stuff. City of love, city of lights. Yeah, exactly. You know, they they bring in the best of the best to a degree. You've yeah. literally brought in Lionel Messi in you, the last yeah. year. So, you know, it's a fashion club. I don't see them competing when it comes to winning the Champions League because like that is that is what's deemed success at Paris is, is winning the Champions League since I've never done it. Mm. Winning the French League is like going on a Sunday stroll. Like you, they do it in their sleep. Yeah. Um I think Mbappe with the power he's been given now, it's it seems to be 
affected him a lot. Yeah. And his performance. Like, he's still scoring goals. He's still scoring. Of course, he'll always score goals in the Champions League and he'll always score goals in, in Liga. But I just think he's become so much more selfish. Yeah. And all about himself. Yeah. And nothing else seems to matter. Like, Messi and Neymar. You can laugh about Neymar and say he's a bell end and he dives and he's this and that. Which he is. But he's a team player. He is. And he, at Barcelona. Like, he, at Barcelona was, in particular. It was, it, was, it was MSN. It was so It good. wasn't just the Neymar that might have been. That might have been. That was probably the season, the year where there was like the two best front threes yeah. in the world. Yeah, because at Real Madrid then you had Benzema, Bale, Ronaldo. Yeah. It was oh, so good. That, man, that was a great time. That was a great time. Watching El Clasicos back in the oh, day was fucking dude. unbelievable. I remember watching... That El Clasico Live, the one uh, at the Bernabeu in 2016 or 2017 when Messi scored the last minute goal and put it Oh up my there. god, iconic, yeah. Iconic. <laughs> iconic, man. And I was jumping around the sitting room live. I fucking hate Barcelona. Yeah. I hate Barcelona as a Chelsea fan. We've had so much bollocks from them for years. <laughs> and this summer they fucking stole half the signings. Yeah, yeah, game. yeah. But I love Lionel Messi. Do you know what's so funny about that? What? I hate it in Real Madrid. Yeah, because of Ronaldo. But because of Ronaldo, <laughs> I fucking want to do it which is gas. Yeah. But um, fully agree with you. I think the, I think it's, it's corrupting just, him in a sense. It has, but it, if it hasn't already, it is corrupting him. And I think the whole narrative he he kind of, when people talked to him before and interviewed him, he was like, oh, obviously, my, who's your hero? I was like Cristiano Ronaldo, and you know, I want to play for Real Madrid. I I absolutely love to play for Real Madrid. Or I'd love to play alongside Ronaldo. Maybe play the number seven jersey at Madrid. He was given that chance. That chance was knocking on the door. He was pretty much in discussions. Yeah. And then PSG came along with a big fuck off contract. Probably the first contract of that kind ever. Mm. And he he stuck himself in Paris Saint Germain. Yeah. He basically said, "I'll take the money over a potential legacy." See, I believe by the time his current PSG deal runs up, he will be twenty six or seven so still kind of coming into his prime yeah. in a sense so he'll still have time to go to Real Madrid if they'll take him this is that's it that's the now. question if you're Florentino Perez if you're Florentino Perez you're a massive wanker you are a prick but if you're Florentino Perez do you take Mbappe after that I think are you too proud I think you'd have to be surely because he basically did fuck you yeah. like, he did fuck Perez yeah. like, let's, let's not take the piss here yeah. Perez needed a striker he wanted a striker. He wanted Kylian Mbappe. Yeah. He wanted someone up there with Vinicius and Benzema. Mm. And he was. And he was. It was Mbappe. It was no one else. Yeah, and like I said, it was. It was pretty much there. It was there. It, Mbappe. All Mbappe had to do was Sign say it. yes. Yeah, that's it. And then he said no. I would say if I was Paris, I wouldn't fucking bother. Um, I think if if Real Madrid signed Mbappe, you're probably looking at another. Remember during like the the mid kind of 2010s there where they had. An incredible run where they won it in like 2016, 17, 18. Yeah, yeah. 19, no. Liverpool won it in 2019, didn't they? Yeah. So they won it three or four times on the bounce. They had an incredible run. I think if they'd signed Mbappe, you're looking at a similar... Another run, yeah, another yeah. Another run, like <laughs> genuinely. Like, they won it last year without him. Mm. And they went on an incredible run, beating the likes of Chelsea, Man City, um, and obviously Liverpool in the final. You would have been looking at that again if you bring Mbappe in. Mbappe. Oh, easy. 100%, 100%, 100%. Well, he said no. He said no because... He fancies he, the money. He fancies the money and he is... And PayPal. And PayPal. And PayPal. <laughs> that's it. No, that's it. And PayPal. He's M PayPal. That's the name that all the football Twitter boys have from. And PayPal. <laughs> so we have McLapt and M PayPal. Pace and Pound. Pace and Pound, yeah. Pessy. Pessy. Penaldo. Penaldo. Penaldo's a good one. Have you seen actually he's speaking of Twitter really quick before we end up have you seen that fellow who's just ratioing everyone on Twitter at the minute George St- Stokey or something like that Stoke fan yeah I he's a I think he might be who is he we want we he's need just, to he's just a football Twitter account but he's he's more than that well he's now yeah. he's, a, he's, a, he's more than that he's I, he's actually think, I'd argue he's a demigod I think he's starting streaming or YouTube now he's kind of using this clout yeah. that he's gotten from it and he's, he's starting has he so, revealed his face yeah, I think it's on his profile. What the fuck? I think it is. Hang on, let oh, me see. Hang on. George Stokey or something along those lines. Is it fucking Stoke City fan? I think he's like the biggest football Twitter account there is now. Um, this this is... There he is. I believe that's him. I think we... He does resemble a god. 
if I'm being honest. It's the, it's the Photoshop job. It's, <laughs> <laughs> no, he is actually... Well, how does he do it, though? I don't know. Someone said he... Someone's accused him of using bots, and he was kind of like, but hardly use bots like to ratio people. That's a bit sad. It's kind of virgin moves, if yeah. you ask me. And I don't, I don't think... I think... He's got he's got one video up. He's got seven point zero nine k subscribers. He that played, is crazy, though. He played uh, FIFA against Jiddy, and I think it was on stream two and a half hours long. So it must have been a stream. That's, that fair play to him, though. That is actually like, yeah. man, he's just gone around ratioing people and like he made a name for himself. I, I actually respect. I actually rate that and, so you know, much. I rate the fact as well that he has started a YouTube channel because like we'd all do the same. Yeah, if I was ratioing boys like that much, man, yeah. he got like seventy thousand likes on some of his ratios. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. It and he's ratioed likes of fucking YouTube, Twitter. Yeah. He's racial to some mad people. Yeah, he's he's racial a do, lot. The question is though <laughs> Do we do we ask him to do we Ask him on the podcast? No, or <laughs> I was think, maybe we cut this out just in case we don't want to get violated. Alright. Do we maybe, try to get racial by Maybe we try when we challenge him, will he ratio the Shy Talk podcast? <laughs> of course he would. If he oh, if he ratio sure. the shy, if he ratio the Shy Talk podcast, I'll do a podcast in the NIF. <laughs> I don't want to do that. You heard that, George? Uh, podcast, but it's what seven, seven followers. Yeah. <laughs> You're nervous laughing. <laughs> no, 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 kill myself. <laughs> no. Uh, no, on a, on a serious note. No, we're, um, no, we're not getting banned. And I, um, didn't sit here in the I was going to say it would probably be very, very awkward there. It'd probably be a very awkward, cold hour and thirty minutes for us. Yeah. Um, it'd be a but look. I, I, I actually reckon if we said it though if we actually were genuinely serious and like look mate he won't ratio us within two hours maybe not even two hours maybe half an hour of us saying that yeah. ratioed and ratioed bad yeah. like oh, yeah. we like so we, what we seven on the, on the Twitter account how many followers have we got on Twitter maybe it's ten see I only post on the show talk Twitter when we're it's uploaded there's an episode up yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what has more followers the crinkle bottom or shy talk I wonder yeah, we could ask. We could ask him to ratio us on TikTok. Oh, got, to be fair, we got seventeen. Oh, it's not, yeah, look, so look, seventeen people. If all seventeen people liked and our Craig post, the Bottoms Crusaders has five followers <laughs> on Twitter. Uh, five loyal fans, nonetheless. Five of us who are there in song, in the in the end of the. We love you, Nigel. <laughs> we do. Come on, Levin. Um, no, but to be fair, shout out to what's his name again. I'm George. so sorry, it's George. 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 Shout out to George. Um, you are an absolute hero. You are my hero, yeah. and I'm going to go on record and say that. And that's genuine, serious because he is a he's a great he's a great man. He's a god. If you uh, got this far in the episode, I want you to comment. What should they comment? Ratio. Ratio. <laughs> I want if you've got in this video. I want you to ratio the amount of likes we get on the video. Yeah, you need to ratio the person who comments above you. If you manage to ratio the podcast, you get a free lemon jersey. <laughs> Debatable, <huh>? Ke- <laughs> Kelly is hero. His, his lift was whimpering as I said that. <laughs> oh god! Right, we've got nothing else to add. I, I don't think so. We, Just, we've covered a lot of bases there. It's, it's, it seems like it's going to be a bit of a long episode, and like what are we, we've been recording for an hour and thirty-seven. I don't think uh, it probably all won't make it in because like there was times where I had to turn on and off the camera. Yeah, there was intermissions. It feels like it's going to be a bit of a long episode. But, so, uh, but sure, that's probably look. We've been gone for a while, so we probably we've deserve. Been gone for a while, uh, similar to a true Lily White upload, we will try to upload again before Amen. Christmas. Uh, Amen. But uh, <laughs> lads, if you did enjoy, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're new. It's kind of weird outroing a video while not looking at a camera. Yeah, it is a bit. But uh, yeah, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new, and we will catch you next time. Take care and peace. <laughs>